my friends. I have gone down the rabbit hole. I have gone down the rabbit hole of all of the horse custom content that is beginning to flood the seas of uh, the Sims 4 mods, and we we're gonna we're gonna be having some very, very, very interesting crossbreeds in our Sims 4 laboratory challenges from now on. Uh, because let's just say, holy horses, I have been, uh, I've been digging around in all sorts of locations. You guys are not going to believe all of the different, oh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, you guys are not going to believe all the different things that I have been discovering, but we'll have to go ahead and talk about those. <laughs> oh my good gravy, gosh, oh my gosh, I forgot about this. Ah! <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> basically, friends, let's just say we've got a lot of custom content coming our way, and we have a fantastic idea starting to brew about for uh, having uh, some random rescue foals in the future. So you guys have been requesting not only that we will go ahead and have some of our very fantastic mixes, like Jax the Okapi, that we're going to be talking about in just a moment here, but also that we would just have uh, some nice random horses of courses and just see what they could end up having as offspring and I love that idea I absolutely love that idea and I'm actually even thinking what if we do a hashtag what if I tell you guys to do like hashtag Siri horse or hashtag like yeah like Siri horse like that and then if you guys do that and I look for it then what if we go ahead and we choose from those random horses huh what if we actually have you guys start uploading horses that we could put into the random generator? Just saying! Just saying! I think that could be a really fun idea! I probably need to make a more official announcement about it, but I guess those of you who are here can go ahead and dive on in and get started early. <laughs> But all right, guys, so yeah, the custom content is coming out in waves, and that means that we have new genetics that we can play with here in our Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge, including the Okapi, which is actually from, of course, Kalino. And Kalino has gone ahead and she has released the Okapi, the donkeys, uh, the donkey ears. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we've got like such amazing things that she has created. She has made donkey ears. She has made Okapi ears. She has gone ahead and I don't even know what to call these ears. Mama, maybe? Like deer? They're really floppy deer ears. She's also made like cloven hooves. So we're going to be dealing with uh, quite a few new animals popping up into our laboratory challenge. And let's just say I've stumbled upon a few of the mains that just main make our... <laughs> Our challenges with uh, zebras and other creatures even more interesting. Not to mention, if you guys check over at Kalino's Patreon, you might be pleased to see there are some hints of antlers about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But all of that said, uh, that's kind of like reporting on the cutting edge of genetic science that we might be able to dive into in our laboratory. But I know what you guys are really here for, and that is the mixing and matching of the genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can and create. And today, friends, we're going to hopefully be creating some very cute foals with Jax, our Okapi, and none other than Ramen's, the Blue Roan. So, Blue ro Paint Roan. Roan is apparently, like, just a nice, even patterning of white fur across the entire, like, horse, white hair across the horse. Um, I am still learning a lot about horses. There's a lot to be learned about patterns, coat colors, everything. So right now I'm just relying on the amazing creators on the gallery for some of the amazing horses we've been finding. This particular one, I believe, is actually by TBH Annie. So I just wanted to, you know, tip my little cow poke hat and say thank you very much for uh, providing this beautiful, beautiful horse. Because <laughs> this is gorgeous. I love this. I've actually really had more fun than I have ever had with our Sims experiments being able to just imagine like I'm bringing your guys creations in because the horses for some reason just have so much detail to them the people who are creating their own unique horses there's just something about it that feels so distinctive compared to our cats and dogs especially with the fancy pantsy way we figured out how to mix the genetics so that we can have some very very interesting foals indeed so all of my rambling aside i have to say i love this horse 
It's got kind of a spotty butt. We've got two colors on the, the hair. We have a beautiful mane that is black, and then we've got a lovely tail that is white. I adore that. And you guys may notice I do have some default new eyes that I am trying out on the horses to kind of give their eyes a little bit more, you know, the horse angle and shape and uh, once I settle on my favorite pack I will be sure to share all of these little custom content bits and bobs that are floating about. Uh, I am dumping them into our Sims CC finds in our Patreon discord as well so that you know we're digging through piles of it. There's so much fun stuff to find right now. But again, I'm rambling too much because I'm just so excited. We need to see if we're going to have some big eared, little teensy horned, beautiful Okapi horse babies. Um, a horse? A horse? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, hockey? Like hockey? Oh my gosh, like hockey pucks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Little hockey babies. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Well, without further ado, my friends, let's go ahead and put on our safety goggles, take out those lovely Petri dishes, and we're going to pluck a bit of DNA using, uh, by the way, we're, we'll be rolling when the foals are grown up for the giant ears and for the tail of the Akafi, which is just amazing. Kalino did such an amazing job with this. I am so in love. Uh, and we're going to grab some of the lovely, lovely genetics that our Ramen's Blue Roan horse has right here mix them together and see what we're going to have so let me dive on in and pull up your guys comments ah that baby is so cute oh my gosh oh my gosh that's not the one we're going to be getting though also you guys have been requesting that i actually randomize from here and yes you may notice we have some fantasy colored hooves i'll talk more about that later but we've been having a ton of requests to actually hit the random button when it comes to uh which bowl we pick from over here. So I'm going to start doing that as well. Uh, this time around, it says it's going to be a cult and we are going to roll three times before picking the, the one that we're going to keep. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, I don't know how we ended up with sunset hooves. Look, we're in the Levarkatory. I'm sure there's some stray genetic material that is just kind of like around where it shouldn't be. And I would like to actually welcome little Lee after Amy Lee. Amy Lee, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a friendly, independent, and intelligent young hockey puck, I suppose. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and roll the random dice to, and I wrote down basically the colors that are correlated with all of the different numbers of the dice. That's how I do it. And we're going to make sure that we actually have the right genetics for you, Amy Lee. So give me just a moment. We actually have this, actually that shade of brown on this little one. And then we have, let's see, we're going to have this shade of brown again. We'll have to see how much this actually changes. All right. Oh my gosh. And then this shade of brown again. Okay, Amy Lee, you really, you, you're determined. Oh my gosh, you are so determined. You're kidding me. I can't believe that we're like rolling that so much. Uh, and then let's see. Oh my, oh my goodness. Like literally this is the color that you wanted to be. <laughs> All right. Well, the jeans were clearly very strong on you. When you grow up, we'll have to go ahead and we will roll the dice of destiny again to see if you end up with the big ears and the Okapi tail or not. So, all right, well, you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. Let me go ahead and roll the dice of destiny again. And this time around, let's pull up another one of your guys' comments from the previous name, or like, for the name gender from the previous comments. There we go. All right, so this one is also going to be a little cult and we're going to be randomizing three times. One, or four, pardon me, two, three, Oh my gosh, look at all these combos we could have, guys. Four. Oh, another Okapi! All right! And this little one is actually going to be Schmidt. Schmidt, welcome! Oh my goodness. It's going to be interesting to see what you turn into as a, once again, friendly, this time free spirit, and also independent little hockey puck. <laughs> And Smith, you suggest doing a Galarian Rapidash with a Spectrier. They are both elegant and whimsical looking horse Pokemon that would make beautiful offspring. That has actually been highly requested and we definitely will be having a more of our Pokemon mixes. But let me make sure I write it down just to double, triple check. Galarian Rapidash, 
I need to know, for all of you who happen to go after the equines in our Pokemon series, which one of them are your favorites? Because I think it's pretty obvious which one I would be the most in love with. I actually was given a shiny of that beloved Pokemon. You guys know who it is. If you know me and you know my favorite kind of um, long-necked horse, let's just say. <laughs> then you know which one it is and I really need to celebrate with that. But all right, I am really rambly tonight. I apologize. I have been downloading custom content for like the last 12 hours. My eyes are spinning and I realized I didn't make no copy a genetic experiment with you guys today at the last minute. So I'm still trying to catch up with myself is the long story short on that. That being said, enough of my rambling. I can't believe it. But once again, Schmidt, you have decided that you want this coloration Oh my gosh, you were kidding. It's because the Okapi jeans apparently are very strong. I cannot believe this. This is, okay, finally we have some jeans coming in from the other parent. So this is gonna be this color. I can't really tell what changed. Oh, thank goodness. And then we actually have, ooh, white on the last color. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. All right, Schmidt, we'll have to see if you have the Okapi ears and tail when you grow up in a little bit here. Oh, you know what? I'm actually really enjoying when we pull up these petri dishes and see which one of you become the random creatures that we are creating. Uh, I actually really am having a good time being able to like roll it a little bit so we can see what variety of offspring we could have. We're going to need to remember to do that for basically everything, I think. But all right, my friends, now we're actually going to randomize a filly, our first filly, six times. All right, one two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that was really cute. I really like seeing all the different combinations that we could have. And this time around, we have little Rose Blossom. Rose Blossom, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a needy, intelligent, and aggressive hockey puck. <laughs> And Rose Blossom, thank you so much for your kind comment saying in the 11 years you've been watching us, uh, you've never once not smiled upon hearing my laugh. That is so sweet. Thank you. I'm going to put that down in my joy journal because that really uh, changing lives for the better. You know, OK, come around, friends. Clearly, we all need to have a little bit of a coffee break while I am just absolutely chattery tonight from having spent forever downloading so many different pieces of custom content. But when it comes to knowing that you can make you can make lives better for others, I also deeply believe you deserve to make life better for yourself as well. But when I ponder what is the meaning of life, uh, I even I pull back and I go, hmm, I don't think the meaning of life is eating my beloved oranges and being able just to like hug all of the trees on the planet. Uh, actually, my husband Chips and I have a saying that we believe that the meaning of life is to just leave things better than we found it. And so that makes me very happy to hear that sometimes you guys can get a little smile out of our silly adventures. <sighs> All right, well, diving right off that serious note, let's go ahead and whoops a dups. All right, eh. let's go ahead and break out the jeans for this little one. And Rose Blossom, you actually have such a beautiful white color that's actually covering you, which reminds me of like the roan pattern that you're inheriting. This brown jean is ridiculously strong. I cannot believe how strong it is, but this one is going to be white again. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is turning out really pretty. Okay, it's this brown jean again on the next one. I cannot believe how strong that is. And then this one's actually going to be this shade of brown. All right, Rose Blossom, if you have the Okapi ears and tail when you grow up, we'll find out. But look at this. I love doing the jeans this way because it really has been changing everything about how the babies look. We're getting such a better variety of our genetic uh, results. Let's pull up the next Petri dish before I start getting on another adorable little soapbox. Roll the dice, and this time it's gonna be another filly. So here we go. Now we're going to be randomizing this beautiful filly three times. One, two, three. <gasps> Finally! Oh my gosh, I don't think we've had a patterning from the Roan yet. So this is very exciting. And welcome to Little Thunder. There we go. 
And Thunder, you really love the idea of me picking the first two horses I see on Star Stable and then going ahead and recreating them in Sims 4 and having their crossbreeds. We probably will do that. We'll we'll like make a little picnic in Star Stable and we'll have a little snippet at the beginning of our laboratory videos where I'll just like randomly take a couple pictures uh, uh, like with you guys in Star Stable to see the horses I see and then we'll recreate them and see what happens because I think that could be quite fun. But Thunder, you are going to be a needy, fearful, free spirit who, let's see what your jeans are going to look like. Oh my gosh, I swear these brown jeans are just so strong. I, I've never had this coloration happen so often. Uh, and then you're actually going to have white right here. That's pretty fun. And then, oh, you're going to have white again. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, and then you're going to have, oh my goodness gracious. I cannot believe how strong that was. That was ridiculous. Uh, and then you're going to have this gray for the last color. So I don't know if you had a lot of the copy bits mixed in, but maybe you're going to inherit the ears, Thunder. I'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, let me pull up the next comment. Now I'm starting to get the little, uh, the little pace for this. I tell you what. And this one's also going to be a filly, and we're actually going to randomize her five times. So one... Two, three, four, and five. It's like getting to the center of a, 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 a like Tootsie Pop. Are those still around? <laughs> and this one is going to be Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart, welcome. I don't know how you ended up with pastel hooves. Like I said, stray jeans just hiding around the laboratory fields, apparently. And Pop-Tart, you are going to be fearful, independent, and friendly. And you suggest having a zebra strike and Applejack. I might go there, I might not. I'm a little fearful of even going anywhere near the My Little Pony stuff, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what ends up in, you know, that hashtag later. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give you your coloration. What? This brown color, I swear. Oh my gosh, and it did it again. Okay, so for some reason, this gene is just really, really, really powerful. I actually, oh my goodness, it did it again. I cannot believe that. That is so funny. And then we have white for there. And then we've got, let's see. <laughs> oh, at least this brown. So we have a little bit of variation for you, Pop-Tart. Oh my gosh. All right. I was hoping we could get like a gray on this Okapi pattern, but we'll have to see if the last of our little offspring are going to have that. Ah, oh, there we go. And this one, my friends, is going to be... Come back here, Dice of Destiny. Oh, it's going to be a little cold, and we're only going to randomize him once. Hi, buddy! Look at your cute little face! And this is going to be Lexi! Lexi, welcome, welcome. And Lexi, I'm glad that you enjoy the yellow booty horse from... <laughs> from the chaos that we ended up having from our previous horses. That was pretty amazing. And Lexi, you are going to be aggressive, defiant, and brave. That's an adventure just waiting to happen, if you ask me. That is absolutely an adventure waiting to happen. And now we're going to go ahead and <laughs> you'll never guess what color your first shade of uh, coloring is, but the good news is yes, gray! Okay, so we got a little bit of a gray overtone there. And then you'll never guess which color here. <laughs> really? That's just so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Why? Why is it so strong? Why did that gene just like absolutely more or less destroy everything else? Oh, but we got a little gray head right there. Cute. Oh, well, it appears the Okapi Brown was quite dominant, but now we're going to go ahead and see. Can the same be said for the ears? Because that's what I'm really here for, friends. So, thank you very much, Jax. Thank you very much, Ramens. Let's go ahead and grow your little foals up and see if they're going to inherit, via the Dice of Destiny, the Akapi ears and the Akapi tail. All right, up we go. There we are, there we are. And then we did not inherit the ears on Lee. Uh, so Lee, let's go ahead and put you there. But we did inherit the tail! Yay! Okay, also you don't need you don't need like that little bow. I, I appreciate how adorable it is, but there you go. Aw, there you go, Lee. I really like how your mane got braided. That's very pretty. And then we are going to go ahead and have little Schmidt grow up. Come on, Schmidt. I think aw, we didn't inherit the ears or the tail that time. <laughs> but we do have a pretty braided tail. I really love that. 
I'm I've been really really enjoying watching as I'm able to get more and more of the different main types thanks to the custom content I've been discovering. Like I said, I'll try to go ahead and make a nice list for you guys. All right, Rose Blossom, come on. Come on. Yes, we finally have the Okapi of ears. Oh my gosh, Rose Blossom, look at you. You turned out so cool. And now we get to come on over and we're going to add on. Yeah. Oh, you guys. <gasps> you guys. We need to get those big ears on some more of our horses, because look at how cute that is. I can't believe how much I love that. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So Thunder, let's go ahead and grow you up and see if you're going to inherit the same. Yes! And Thunder actually inherited both the ears and the tail. So we get to see what that looks like with that beautiful roan patterning. There we go. Oh my gosh, Thunder. Thunder, your face changed. I forgot the ears would actually change your face. You guys! <laughs> okay, we might have to just do like a copy mixed with everything from now on because, because look at Thunder. Look at Thunder. All right, this was absolutely, totally, completely a thousand percent worth it. Uh, and then wrapping up with a little Pop-Tart, let me go ahead and see. You did not inherit the tail or the ears, unfortunately, but look at that custom forelock. Oh my gosh, that's, that's, that's adorable. That's absolutely adorable. I'll see you. There, you. there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. That's actually pretty cute. And I like how we have the tiny little tail. Oh my goodness. Pop tart. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Going through a little emo face. And then finally, we've got little Lexi. Dice of Destiny say, Ooh, look at that tail that you did inherit the ears, but not the tail. Thank goodness. Because I actually would have been very sad to have lost to like the beauty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this makes me want to do some of the elephant crossbreeds that we have for our other Lavarkatory challenges. <laughs> but there we go, friends. So a lot of rambling. You guys had a little preview of the Siri horse hashtag that we might start using in the future. Uh, and we've got some really fascinating crossbreeds and a lot of interesting conversation. I guess this is what it's like if you just sit around the campfire watching your hockey puck or a coffee horses go ahead and graze uh, and it's swapping stories, right? At least we're not catching dysentery like our Oregon Trail series. But all right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me on this. This is going to be so much fun as we watch as more and more custom content comes out to delight and surprise us and sometimes horrify us with whatever we find. And if you guys could, do please leave your suggestions. Oh, wow, Rose Blossom. Do please leave your suggestions for more crossbreeds down below. And the random common generator just might pick you to become, well, definitely something, that's for sure. <laughs> next time. So stay curious, everyone. Bye-bye.